Hello, scavenger. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. All right. Oh, what the hell, dude? I just said hi. God. Hey, what's up, dudes? Kublai Khan here. Welcome back to Fallout 4 DLC Automatron. Yes, we are on the waterfront, hanging out with Ada, taking dudes out, robots out, making them our buds, making them dead and sleepy, and then blowing them up using their uh, exploding routines. Kind of fun to do. Anyway, we're almost to the General Atomics factory, and then we will continue on with more Mechanist Menace. Now, one thing that I find exceedingly fun is the fact that when you shut down a robot, you actually put them into a position where they are within a sneak attack damage. Also, I like the fact that if I sneak, Ada does not change anything. She's literally on fire and has light coming out, but still, I'm a sneaky man. Now, popping on this, we can, uh, oh, I don't want to, I wanted to see if I could pickpocket him. Unfortunately, I cannot, so. Sneak attack three times damage. Something I find really interesting about uh, how they designed the game was the way that they had characters have the three times damage or the four times damage depending on the weapon that you use. So the super sledge gets three times damage, which would make it when you're looking at you know what's going on, very much a uh, so this is you know 71 damage versus when we compare it to ooh it's a rated switchblade versus when we compare it to the the 102, it's very clearly like okay which one's a better one to hit with, but and this is the part that I particularly enjoy about it. That extra damage really makes it make sense to use some of these, Ada, please move, thank you, these smaller weapons. I mean, we get four times damage with that one. So, I mean, three times 100 turns into that 300. Okay, four times seven. Wait, I did the math real quick and I realized that, in fact, although the sword is really cool, it's nice because it gets off faster, not because it actually does more damage. And uh, I just did... You know, it was one of those moments where you just do the math real quick in your head and you realize four times damage is great, but that's only 28, uh, that's 280, because it's four times 70. And then, versus the Super Sledge is 100 times three. So it's actually, it is significantly better to use the, uh, Super Sledge. I'm, uh, actually surprised. I was gonna make the comment how game design-wise, I really appreciate the way that they do that. Uh, I'm just wrong. But anyway, although I may be just wrong, at least we get to move on and have an ooh. Rust Devils? Mr. Handy Wrecker? Scavengers? This is interesting. Uh oh! Oh, I'm in the water. I'm under the water. Oh god. Okay. Whoo! Take a breather. Take a breath. Take a breath. Take a breath. Alright. Can't see. I can't get out of the water. Hello, everybody. I guess I will pull out my super sledge because it turns out that, ow, this works just fine. Rust devil, oh man, I hit him in the arm so hard his leg exploded. God. Scavenger, you're gonna go after me? You know, you seem pretty chill with me in being here. All right, well, take that robot left leg. Did that person actually have robot chest piece? Are these new weapons and stuff that have shown up? Hold on, what is going on? This is fascinating. Is this like a piece? Whoa! Oh, that's really cool! Oh, I don't want to command Ada to do anything. Hold on. Alright, well anyway, somebody's shot at me again. I don't exactly know from where. Hello, scavenger. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm good. Alright. Oh, what the hell, dude? I just said hi! God! <laughs> this game has a lot of mean people in it sometimes. They, uh, they don't really do very much nice stuff to you, either. I'll take the Explorer outfit and the battered fedora. <laughs> oh my god, it's a robot saying resistance is futile! That is wonderful. Are you shooting me? Actually, I don't... Yes, okay. I just needed to check. God, that was not a very intelligent way to do that. I literally stopped and asked, Hey, are you shooting me at the moment? And she's like, uh, continue shooting him. That's the right answer. Now I'm carrying too much and cannot run. Okay, so carrying on, where exactly are we? Yes, I'm sure we'll emerge. Let me do the, my favorite thing. Boom. Looking down as we do the drop. Oh, it's always fantastic. All right, so we're gonna carry our super sledge and I guess leave Ada to do whatever she's doing in her uh, fun little escapade. Have some dirty water. And uh, well, we're almost to the General Atomics building. Very close. It's actually just popping up on the map pretty, pretty much directly in front of us. You know, this is actually where uh, Nick Valentine's mission ends, companion one. Kind of a 
interesting to see where these places cross over. Certain places that you even never visit until you just do some side mission and then suddenly there's so much more that's going on. Oh, that's the sound of a super mutant skirmisher and a super mutant suicider. You know, if I can locate where that guy is coming from. There we go. Oh, that, I just threw a mine. Uh oh. Those explosions are so pretty. Unfortunately, it's killed all my friends. Wait, she seems just fine to me. Yeah, you. Wow, you took that on the chin. Well done. All right. Ow. What about the resistance is futile? That's my favorite one. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, okay, okay. Where is he? Where is he? Oh, I can't exactly get that very easily. I fight well, human. I literally threw out a mine and blew up your friend. And that's how we got into this position that we're in now. How do I fit on these stairs? Just barely. I feel I'm way too big to do that. What? Scared already? Hold on. Where, Ada? 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 Look alive. I'd be happy to help if I can. Think you can unlock that? Thank you, Ada. You hear? You hear? Stop <laughs> Hold on, Super Butte. I'm literally I'm trying to get to you. I mean, I'm in a suit of armor, which you're gonna love the battle. I mean, I know that's how you like to act with things. There we go. Oh, you're still too far away. Still. Oh yes, let's get him for a sneak attack. Wow! It only took half his life. What a great way to hit level 17. I love it. Uh, very good. Let's see what we have for us now, don't we? You know, I realized that for those of you who didn't watch episode zero, you actually don't know how this character is built. Uh, as you can see, very, very low hit points. And that was probably the reason why we struggled so much uh, in the beginning. And uh, with that huge death montage that I shared. I'm thinking I should actually hold off on this point. Um, I like the idea of doing sneak and the like, but I haven't really done enough sneaking to make me feel like I'm really taking a lot of use of it. Versus something like armor and blacksmith will be very useful for a character. Or science as well, I mean, for certain robot mods. Even uh, popping up our ninja. I mean, th what we're at right now is 2.5 normal damage and 4 to sneak attacks, right? Um, but uh, for melee, and then range just pop up, then 5 times. So, there's going to be, and then eventually 10. So, at one point... We're gonna do like, just sneaking is just gonna be the way to get everything done. So, uh, we're not quite at that point yet. I also wanna see what we can get uh, weapon wise. We'll jump down here. Oh God, I love how she just opens this shit for us. It's amazing. I'm really happy I gave her that subroutine to be able to lockpick. I mean, I, I rarely play on my permadeaths with companions, right? Except for like Jesse and Kate at the moment. And, um,. Uh, that's uh just because that's actually one of the stories that we chose to go with. Hey, we made it! Ah, oh, this is nice. Ada, you have anything to say? Never mind. Didn't have anything else. No problem. I feel like I want to talk to you more as a person, but you're not really letting me. But then whenever the game wants me to talk to her, they're always like, "Hey, she's just a rubit." And I'm like, "She's not just a rubit." All right, I'm hearing mechanist stuff going on in the background. Oh, whoa! Well, I. Calm down, robot. Shut down. I think it's interesting how these little robots don't actually have um, uh, the ability to just stop or to explode like everybody else can. God, I love legendary swarm bot. That's for you. Shut down. Oh man, this is working great doing it like this, especially with the suit of armor is keeping us so alive. I don't think I want to call you a junk bot. I feel like you're a very cool looking robot. Alright. <laughs> Laser short barrel, huh? I am junk. One of my favorite lines from Hearthstone, dunk. Can't exactly talk to it. Stay there. Getting my experience points. God, I love it. All right, let's uh, see what's in this elite guy. Where, there he is, okay. Oh! Damn it! So I'm gonna do that fight again real quick. Okay, so back to the beginning again where uh, we had our explodey robot right there. 
Let's take out this dude. Take out the mechanist holo tape. Whap you and uh, walk over here. There we go. Jeez, that still got us. Wow, she is just taking that on the chin again. Synth left arm. Reduces damage while blocking. Oh, that's pretty cool. Uh, reduction of damage is really good. So it's very nice to see that. New mods available at the workbench. Nice. All right, let's go ahead and take out these dudes out. And uh, yeah, I'll reconnect with you again. So I feel for fun, I would actually like to try sneaking around a bit. Uh, see how that... Oh, I have way too much weight. I was over 260 pounds, and I just dumped 100 pounds of junk into Ada. This little floaty thing was supposed to make her carry weight significantly less compared to, like, Protectron legs. I, uh, I feel like it's a pretty insignificant difference. So I'm pretty excited about this synth left arm because this character already has a uh, ability that when I'm sprinting, I will decrease the amount of damage done to me. So it's a lot of fun to have that additional bit in that weapon too. So it's it's nice to see some more legendary weapons. Ooh, look at all these gears and things. These are going to be great for junk later on. Let me just walk on it and ruin the whole assembly line. Just uh, if if you guys are one, if that's a little jump right there, I it took me like 30 seconds to remember the term assembly line. I'm not very proud of myself for that one. A lot of good junk here. Oh, a little bit of a story there. A woman taking morphine on the b toilet when the, the bombs hit. Jeez. I guess if I worked, and Psycho too, wow. But I guess if I worked just on this conveyor belt thing, it would be a little boring. So actually, remember the last episode I was talking about the idea of working in a job that, you know, is is kind of just getting you to the dream that you want. Like if you're a student and you're just like, I don't think I can pick this. Ada, like if you're just a student and uh, you're looking for I... succeeding or if, you know, you have your own business that you're working on. Lock tight. Oh, no, no, not for me. Go check that out. And, um, uh, it's something where this, I could imagine that this is a similar, that woman might have had a similar story. Keep working on it. Do you not need, uh, lockpicks to do this? Man, I love this blue effect. that's not it. Well, that's that. I'm sorry, this lock was trickier than I assumed. Hey. What can I do for you? Check it out. Sorry, this lock is more difficult than I anticipated. Maybe she actually had lockpicks on here. Hold Heads on, up. let's see if I can trade her a couple lockpicks if she'll be able to keep trying. And by lockpicks, I mean bobby pins, of Heads course. Up. I'd be happy to Take help a look. if I can. Sorry, this lock is more difficult than I anticipated. Apparently not. She's actually incapable of doing that. I wonder if I need to upgrade the, um her lock picking uh, sequence or whatever the term That's was <laughs> the, uh, the phone <laughs> Ooh, Tesla science yes now what I'm looking forward to is when I finally get to get that weapons workbench and I'm able to give myself some uh, freaking electric weaponry I mean using the super sledge feels pretty good feels pretty similar to what a scientific melee guy should be using but it's still not to the exact degree that I was looking forward to now, where am I supposed to go in this place? It's been a, been a bit of a back and forth of a location. Huh. Hello? Oh, here we go. We got a door that has not opened. Um, I guess I need to find a robot somewhere. Found one. I think I need to find a computer somewhere is what I actually meant to say. Alright. Uh, but the idea, going back to the assembly line thing. Alright, we got this. Be Putting yourself in a position where you are working to achieve at whatever that particular thing is I mean and then I could see like that person had her dream and then but it wasn't working out and so she was that was her way of getting over the boredom rather than having like a goal which isn't necessarily a bad thing or she could have also still had a goal just happened to enjoy the feeling so I don't really know but it is kind of a I found it's kind of funny to be looking at this assembly line situation and thinking oh yeah like I was just kind of talking about taking a job that maybe not challenges you to the degree that you thought you would be able to have but at least you know you're growing in some other way that would be something that i would struggle with personally is that if i couldn't have the opportunity to still grow i've actually mentioned on this uh film before not this exact episode obviously but i uh, like that i felt like if 
I was working on my YouTube channel and it wasn't really growing, then I would feel a little bit more disappointed with myself. Because it's like, well, then why am I not, you know, growing my professional career? But honestly, you sometimes just have to try stuff and hope for the best. Oh, okay. Um, I wanted to sneak in and do this. All right, but we're not going to be able to sneak, it seems. So we're going to do it like this. Just running in. Oh, nice. Shutting down. Oh, another one. Oh, that's hurting a lot. I think I died because everything, like, froze. And this is shaking like crazy. I don't know if you can see that. I could put it on the camera. The cam My arm was crippled, but I'm not dead. Well, well, well. All right, we're still living. We're still living for the next day. It makes way more sense to be using um, the armor, but I, I honestly super prefer, jeez, uh, being a sneaky person like this without armor. Go, 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 go. Whoa, no, 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 hack, hack, hack. Oh, I'm in the thing. There we go. God. I'm so, oh God, oh God. I was, could not figure out what was hitting me. All right, well, let, let's let this robot get closer. Ow. A little more water, a little, little shot. Come on. Oh. Gotcha. Ow. All right, uh, hit. So you can use robot uh, kits to actually repair it myself without having to wait, which is nice to do for sure. Uh-oh. Oh God, I thought you were a, uh, I heard the swarm bot. Weird. So these ones don't explode. Okay, so we got one more robot up there. Let's go ahead and whack that dude, and that could be uh, the end of our episode. So uh, I feel like I feel like I sound like a, a dude of the mafia. It's like, yeah, man, we're gonna go up. And, I, don't, I can't do an Italian like. St excuse me, not necessarily Italian, but that like. Uh, oh wow, can I can I hack you through the door? Yes, I can. I can technically hack him through the door. Oh yes. <laughs> Did I not technically hack him through the door? Or did something else shoot me? Oh, it's a, it's a bot. There we go. That bot's the one that hit me. I can't reach him. Can I hit him? I can't hit you through the door. Excuse me, Mr. Robot. Swarm bot. Ow. Okay. Ow, ow. Gonna get some healing going. Gonna get some healing going. Robot. How did Ada get in there? Thanks, Ada, but how did you even... Oh, God. Okay, you know what, dudes? We're going to stand right here. No, we're not. Oh, my God. Okay, dudes, so we're going to hang out over by this light, having a good time, shining in the spotlight, and thank you so much for being here. It's a total joy to have you. If you liked what you saw, please leave a like. If you want to see more, hit the subscribe button underneath me. And, of course, may the ground rise to meet your feet, the wind always be at your back, and may the sun shine warmly in your sexy, sexy face. Dude, see you later. Bye.